All right, guys, we are back. Welcome to the 10K Grand Finals. Chris Puckett and Benson here bringing you the late night action. We're down to just two teams, one of which a lot of people expected to be here. The other, a shocker, our eight seed making the distance all the way into it's, our final two. It's kind of about time, I feel, with the way. You know, they've been on that cusp of eighth place for a, a while. It seems in every tournament they've been trying to branch into the sort of top four. Now they've finally done it. They've confirmed top two. So congratulations to Aware. I think, honestly, with you know how they've been playing online, they really do deserve it. But can they take first place? That would be huge for them. 10,000 yeah. pro points on the line. That seeding for Columbus would be huge for them. And I think the biggest shocker is what just happened in the semifinals. We didn't have it right. on stream, but it was happening over on the denial stream. We saw uh, Aware 3-0 denial. Mm. Uh, quick work center in the boys. They've been hot all day. They're not slowing down. Let's take a look at our lobby at our eight contestants. Right now we got Optic Formal. He looks to be hosting game number one. We have Sender, Lawless, uh, Accuracy, and Happy, which make up the Aware squad. The rest of Optic Gaming, you know these guys. It's gonna be Formal, Scumpy, Nate Shot, and at the very bottom, Crim6. Yeah, these, these guys, a lot of pressure on their shoulders. As I said earlier on, you know, they really have more pressure now than I think they ever have, just simply because of the, the hype around the team, you know, God Squad, Dynasty Squad, I've, I've heard all sorts of stuff. I'm seeing a lot of uh, reading on, on Reddit of, of people really hyping up the Octa team, but rightfully so. You know, this is a very, very talented team. And to be honest, I know Duffman, he's putting up to gaming to win Columbus. I'm still thinking about it depends it's, it's the easiest way to get a hundred thousand twitter followers you reckon yeah just just say optic game because i'm, I'm getting close you should you should you just know? call should it I, ahead of I time do it all right and then if you're wrong be like i'm so sorry guys i cursed them uh <laughs> hard point solar is going to be game number one here search and destroy terrace game two capture the flag is going to be game three throughout our first uh tournament and that one going to be on retreat Uplink will be Detroit and then Search and Destroy on Riot. So the good news here, Capture the Flag, Retreat. This is a map that we saw Optic go so clutch against uh, yeah, Denial in last week's 5K. Don't be surprised if we see that again. They also went clutch today Yeah, on, on uh, Retreat as well, I believe it was. Some amazingly fast... 41 seconds, it, I think. It was, yeah, it was ridiculous in stopwatch, but the, the clutch was getting the, the game tying cap. It was it was crazy. Only, I think it was like 20 seconds left, and Scumpy manages to get the cap in pretty that, by himself. And that's been surprising, too, for me, is Scumpy is not afraid at all to pull a flag here in Advanced Warfare. Right, which is and, good. And once he grabs it, he tends to have one of the higher cap ratios, I feel like, out of any of the players. He just seems yeah. to stay alive long enough or slay his own way home. Yeah, that, that's pretty much the key. You know, he will win those gunfights. So it's, it's good to have him kind of semi doing the objective but you know speaking to mr x he was saying how he's looking at crim six really to do the remainder but what he really says is you know formal needs to be allowed to just roam around the map do what he wants you know let him do whatever he wants to do if he wants to play for kills let him do it you know he's one of those players that you know when, when you weigh it up him running the objective in comparison to for example crim running the objective it isn't as worth it you want to allow him to just slay and do what he does best because when he is slaying it's it's scary. This it way. this tournament, this match, it's all going to come down to who gets first blood, in my opinion. Solar Hardpoint is going to be the most important game type in this rotation. Also, we've seen Optic consistently get down early and uplink and CTF and come back in the second half of games. If Aware wants to take home this 10K in the $4,000 that goes with it, they're going to have to get out to an early lead and just shut down Optic. Don't give up any late momentum. Solar Hardpoint was a map yesterday when Optic played Phase. They really struggled on that was the the map why X actually dropped 56 kills. Today though, I've seen them play I think once so far and they looked very, very strong. So that performance from yesterday as opposed to today, very, very different. Of course, they made it to the Grand Finals today. They actually beat Phase as well along the way, getting some sweet revenge beating them 3-1 earlier on in the tournament. But the Grand Finals about to get underway. Solar Hardpoint first map. Predictions, Bucket? Predictions. It's going to be 3-1 Optic Gaming, but I'd love to see the Aware upset. I think I think it's going to be 3-2. And I, I don't know who's going to win. You're watching Happy. I'm forcing you to watch this kid. Dude, I, I love Happy. I think he's, they didn't put Esports Worlds on, did they? They didn't. <sighs> Formal, Formal, you were the worst host in the game. Formal just, he says he doesn't know how to do it, but 
He's, he's, he's lazy. He's, he all right, here lazy. we go. On board with Happy to open things up here. Hard point on solar. It's all about controlling the tops here for this first part of the map. You can see uh, the hard point always in the middle of the map. Now, Benson, when you're playing this game mode, is there secret or is there any strategy for the first minute? For the first minute, you want to try and control those spawns. It's, it's as simple as that. You want to make sure that you're getting favorable spawns for the second hard point. Because this first hill, wide, wide open. It reminds me a lot of uh, hard point in Yemen. Okay. That, that first hill, it's wide out in the open. You can contest from so many different ways. I mean, look, you could jump up pretty much Maybe in the middle of a on pool. Right side. Yeah, exactly. So you're not really expecting to pick up a lot of points. You know, maybe scrap time here and there. Most of it's going to be contestion time. But you want to make sure you control the far side of the map from where Sender is. Uh, oh, sorry, Sender's left-hand side right now. We need to come up with, with like, call ads for this, I feel. Like, we should we should just make them up on the fly. We'll, we'll have a meeting on Wednesday. We'll, okay, we'll yeah. lock this down. Don't worry. Uh, in the meantime, you'll notice that it is Optic Gaming jumping out to the early lead, 27 to just 12, on board with Sender, who's kind of the, the veteran captain, very young player in his own right, just coming to the top last season. Um, but really, it's kind of incredible to see him leaving this noble lineup that played so well in season three, finding three brand new players, Accuracy, Lawless, and Happy for the first event in Advanced Warfare. Happy just been unbelievable. Every time we've, we've seen him, he's been playing out of his mind, and he's a player who's just come out of nowhere. A lot of people may not even know who he is, but to be honest, he's playing very, very well at the start of Advanced Warfare, and he's you know, blending very well with this aware team center. Wow. Gonna pick up that kill as well. Optic Gaming do have the lead. And to the end of this second half point, you've got about 15 seconds left before the hill does rotate. Nice kills coming in from Aware. That was Lawless on the two-piece after Sender's two-piece. Accuracy can't keep the momentum going, and now it's going to be Happy in a tough position. They know they got to rotate to this third hard point. The question is, will they be able to beat Optic to the rotation? It doesn't look like it. Optic's all set up, and this is not the worst spawn for Aware, but definitely not as close as they'd like to be. Scumpy just got a three-piece as well outside that hill, slaying. And this hill is, is pretty awkward, I feel, if you don't have control of it. You need to do exactly what Aware just did. Pins to the hill from a variety of different directions. However, Optic did have control, but Happy's going to get himself two kills. One more player is going to be on the hill. Jumps up, and Scumpy shuts him down. Just hit the scoreboard real quick. Okay, I want to see how many kills is Scumpy on right now. 10 and 8, Crim6, 13 and 11. So Optic getting some, some outslaying mm -hmm. early on in the game, but Nothing still, amazing nothing on either crazy. Side. Um, yeah. And one thing I really want you guys to look at too is uh, always we see this quick draw, foregrip, um, stock option on the bow. When you look at Happy and what he's running, he's actually got the extended max. So that's going to put 48 bullets in your clip. That's going to allow you to kill three or four people per clip okay. as opposed to running out of ammo and being stuck with your pants down. So <laughs> I really like this decision. Also, when we get to Sender, he is the only player in this entire tournament that oh, we've no. seen oh. using Hover. Okay. So they're not afraid to try something that works specifically for them and, and go against the pack. See, I, I like his use of that. I've seen him use it on a variety of different maps. It works really well in Biolab. He likes to just sort of hover in the top corner of rooms because people don't expect that. They're going to look in the bottom side of the corners and try and sort of filter you out. Hover on this map, there's certain areas where it would work, definitely. Um, curious to see we get we actually get to see him use it on, on screen or on stream. That'd be awesome to see. But, you know, going back to Happy, using extended mags. It's kind of a confidence thing as well, you know? Yeah. He, you know, just him saying, I'm going to use extended mags. I'm going to get more kills. It's like, that's a that's a big psychological advantage. That Wallace you know. also running extended mags. want to point that out. So we've watched uh, mostly all of this has been aware for our first four minutes. Let's go over to Optic Gaming now. They lead 110 to 45. That number continues to grow as this hard point is running out. They'll be rotating to the opposite side of the map. Aware's in it first. Optic quickly trying to break it one-on-one -on -one here for control, and that's a big win from Krim. Also going to find more players here on the catwalk. Look for the spawns to be very close for both teams, and it looks actually like Aware may have the advantage off that respawn. Yeah, it's looking that way, but Nate Shot trying to fight his way around the outside. And Crim6 is going to break in from the front. Needs to win this gunfight, though, and does, Big. thanks to a nice little double jump whilst hip firing. And Optic should be able to regain control, but Crim is pretty much by himself here. So, aware. You see them flooding in, but Crim6 just slaying absolutely everything. Goes for the contestion, and he 
And he's just on a huge streak right now. Now Krim knew exactly where they'd be coming from. His teammate had his back at that middle door. He continues to pre-fire off the new spawns. Formal there in the back is going to be there running out of ammo. Unfortunately, his teammate's now falling. So missed opportunity to clean up the final 15 seconds. But look at this pace Optic Gaming is bringing to Solar. 27 and 17 is Krim 6. Scumpy plus 2. Their teammates, you see plus one from Formal and Nade Shot, still just a little bit negative, but they're definitely now in control of the slang of this game. And they're in control of the tempo of the game as well. You know, 129 to 63 going into this first hill. Again, you're not going to pick up a lot of points on this hill, so, you know, it's just going to be scrap time versus scrap time. What you need to see is aware, try and set up for the next hill in the rotation. That's where they could potentially reduce this deficit because right now, Optic are pulling away and they are doing so very, very quickly. The slaying power of Crim6 coming in full effect right now. Nice job by Optic so far. Nate shot spawning way out though at the top of the map. Not necessarily the worst case scenario because you see those players coming from the middle alley. Nate shot will be on the flank any moment. There he is That's getting his kill. first kill. Scumpy picked up one in the middle. Accuracy and Lawless still adding to the kill feed from the middle of the map. Both players still trying to anchor for this new hard point, but at this point in the game, Aware can't wait and just set up for new hard points. They gotta be breaking this setup because Optic is milking every free second. Yeah, that was that was a lot of time Optic got on that hill. And on that hill, you should not be able to do that. You see Formal just locking it down. Now though, as the hill has rotated, Formal picks up a nice kill on, I believe that was accuracy, and just strolls onto the hill, looking for another defend. Is he gonna get it? Yes, he is. Nicely played from Formal. Yeah, I think Garretson, um kind of said it best, Advanced Warfare brings Twitch Shooter back to the console. And you can just see it, Formal has one of the best just quick sweeping shots anytime you're within range. He is going to connect on your body and just lock on. Oh, Here he is chasing what? him around. Incredible shot as he finishes the kill. You can see that kill feed all white as Optic dominates this side hard point. They have now picked up a full 20, looking for another 15 before it rotates. Yeah, this is just a huge lead they have now. The hard point's going to be contested, but Formal just trusts his teammate to come out and pick that up. That was Scumpy, who managed to shut down both accuracy and center there. Uh, this is Getting a little bit out of control right now, Bucket, to be honest 100 with you. 100-point club, bro. It's looking like it could be. Aware do have control of this back hill, but if Optic can break it, how we saw Aware break it in the first rotation where everyone pinted it from different angles, then Optic could realistically just put this game out of contention. Right I want to see number 40 from Krim. Where are you at, Krim? How many is he on right now? Is that 39? Oh, yeah, he's, he's hitting 40, 100%. There it is. Bam! Got 40 it. 40 bomb from Krim6. He could actually potentially push 50, you know. Yeah, he's 40 and 25. 12 captures, 4 defends. That just tells you he is not afraid to get in there and get dirty on the new hard points. A big kill as he's getting the cutoffs on the outside. Finally cut down after another two-piece. Scump gets the callouts. First window player will take him down. Nade shot on the opposite end. Spawning out once again, they're going to give up the final 10 seconds to get in position for the new hard point before this flips across the map. It doesn't look like it is going to be 100 point club or what? Should be able to get there. They do, but still, a 100 point lead going in favor of Optic Gaming as the hard point is going to rotate. And, you know, they gave up a lot of time there, but it doesn't matter because they can afford to do so. They just said, hey guys, let's just rotate. You know, we'll lose some time, but it really doesn't matter. We have such a big advantage. We can afford to do that. Let's just get as much time on the start of the next hill as we possibly can, and that's exactly what they've done. And in all honesty, looks like they could win it here if they can hold on, but Aware doing everything they can, trying to jump onto that hill. They're gonna run into Crim6 though. He picks up one. Can he find the second? It's gonna be to his right-hand side. Yes, he nice. can. Amazing accuracy coming in from Crim. He's gonna pick up another one. It's no surprise Crim was on, you know, 40 kills. Well, I mean, what's he at right now? He's, he's gotta be getting close. 45, so he needs five more kills for that 50 bomb. It would be a second 50 bomb of 10k. Not done yet. Minute six, Crim saying, stay out of the hard point, boys. I'm hunting. <laughs> Won't be able to finish two more players. Gets the assist. You see his teammates in the kill feed. We're gonna see the final hard point rotate with about three seconds before Optic takes this one the distance. And will they be able to break the first set of Krim slaying everything in his way? Finally cut down from behind. Up next, Formal making the charge down the street with Krim off the respawn. Three kills. Krim looking for it. 47. Two Player kills. inside. One more kill. So he no. no not going to happen. Down. 48. And you should see Scumpy challenge at the bottom. Scumpy actually cleaned up in your kill feed. 
And that oh, was get... aware Ooh. holding off with a nice two piece. There's Krim That's his 50. with the two. He's got 50, 31, 12, wow. and five. Krim six dropping 50. Skump dropping 40, 37 for formal. Nate looking for his 30 as well. That's and just that should slang do power. it. Now, that's just ridiculous. Props to Aware for keeping Optic Gaming out of their hard point. I mean, um, yeah, but they're, you know, yeah. it's it's 250 to 112. They, they got obliterated. Let's there be you go. With you. But nice just, let's, let's just talk about that. That this is great. Krim fifty kills. Yeah. Scumpy forty kills. And thirty seven might as well be a forty for four. Yeah. And then and then nature as well, picking up thirty two. It's not it's not like nature, you know, was was on twenty kills, just lying on hills. He was slaying too. He was picking up a, a lot of kills. Admittedly, he died a lot, but the big thing, fourteen caps coming in from Krim six. And he drops fifty two kills and six defense as well. That's take, crazy. Let's take a look at these numbers. These are the ones I like to look at as the ratio is broken down for you. Krim, a 1.63, 14 total captures, six total defends. On the other side, the key player was accuracy when it came to the captures and defends. The rest of the team just unable to lock down the hard point. I think that's the difference we see in the score. It was really both top hard points where I saw Optic pull away. Once they got that set up and on that second side hard point, they really just gave aware no breathing room. No, you're completely right. So that's going to be game one going to Optic Gaming. Terrace coming up oh, yeah. next. Snipers. Terrace. Hey. Get your mores ready. I like it. We'll be right back.